Rising Tide Ministries in Flower Bluff has a program that reunites homeless people in Corpus Christi with their families across the country. All across the country, and our Patrick Johnstone looks at how this program has done in its first year of operation. I, I guess I really realized how bad things had got when I was on that bus and when I was with Michael that, oh my gosh, you know, I'm homeless and I'm on the streets and this is crazy. Like The Away Home program started in December 2020. Thanks to a grant from a private organization, the goal was to help 24 people in 2021. People just found us. Word got out and we ended the year by being able to assist 78 people be, to be reunited with their families. Lisa Gerdes, director at Rising Tide Ministries, says it's fulfilling to help people, many who aren't from around here, get back to their family. I always put myself in their position. If it was one of my children that was missing, if it was one of my children on the streets, what would I want somebody to do for them? The impact the program has on those who use it is clear. He was homeless and walking the streets and eating. We have found now garbage out of people's um, trash cans for 24 days. So I'm just so thankful they found him and they were willing to help him. It was just really nice. Everybody had been so worried about me. Like my uncle thought that I had been human trafficked and Rising Tide Ministries is kept in operation thanks to the funds from its resale store. But that's not enough to keep the away home program afloat. So we don't have our own funding that is able to do this program. So for now it is on pause. For a couple of hundred dollars uh, we can get it started again. You know, just depending on who how many people contact us and where they want to go. Gertis said the ministry applied for the grant that started the program again this year, but donations can also help. For information on how you can contribute, head to our website, christv.com. Reporting Corpus Christi, Patrick Johnstone, Chris News.